Hi, everybody. Welcome to Custody Matters Live. My name is Danica Joan with my co-host Bud Vino, and we have a special guest today. Uh, but before we introduce our special guest, I wanted to share with you a little bit about what our advocacy, the development of our projects uh, and how they're coming along. This week, I met with one of our advocates, uh, Kim Ross in Central Florida. She's, uh, she's in the counseling division of, um, uh, in the school system in our area. And her and I um, are creating our Central Florida conference symposium. We haven't even created a name for it yet, but we've created a date for it, which is April the 24th. And what's cool about April the 24th is it is the day before Parental Alienation Awareness Day, which is April 25th for all of you who may or may not be aware. And um, super excited about it. And Bud, didn't you say you were gonna be there? I am, I'm very excited too. I had some technical difficulties a second ago. Did you see how I recovered from that? You didn't even notice, it was seamless. <laughs> yes, yeah, Danica Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mark, it was great. I, it, I love the pressure like that. I could, can I pull it off? And I did. Danica Joan, December 11th, 2019 air date of the show, 7.30. I'm filling in temporarily for the great Wendy Perry, who I'm happy to say, guys, had seemingly a successful surgery this week. I could feel her energy difference. It felt like behind the scenes, a, a weight had been lifted. She was uh, joyful. And we were, too. We're excited. Wendy will be back soon. We wish her the best. Again, thankful to be filling in. And we have a great cast in Dr. Mark. Yes. Uh, There's a lot of exciting no. things. Drum roll. I can't do drum rolls. Danica, <laughs> fittingly. I'm about to dance. Is, I'm about to dance. Yeah. Dr. Mark. We're, we're close to Christmas, guys, and it feels like that. We feel like kids on Christmas Eve tonight. Mm -hmm. I really, uh, one of the reasons that I wanted uh, Dr. Mark to be on our show is because he is like one of, like, just a light. He is a light in the darkness, and we all know that the reason that we do what we do is because there's a lot of darkness in people's lives in regards to custody matters. And, um, and I think all three of us, are, and in, oh, all four of us, I'm going to include Wendy Perry because she's part of our team, this, all of us um, see the good in things and try to, to, to bring the good in the midst of a, a stormy situation. So welcome, Dr. Mark. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm so happy to be here with, with you and Bud. Thank you very much. Now, you've been kind of under the weather, and I kind of, I suspect that part of the reason that you're, you have been under the weather is because you, I've seen you just jet setting, going back and forth, really being a voice for, um, an ad, for the advocates and trying to make a difference in the world. And um, I acknowledge you for that. Thank you. And take care of yourself. We need you around. Danica, if, if I could quickly too, Dr. Mark, I concur with Danica. When Danica told me that it was going to be you, and we, I, I had you as a guest on another show I was on about a year ago, or maybe a little bit over, and Danica and Wendy have interviewed, interviewed you before. So she, when she said that we were going to have you on, it was exciting because it's always honest and it's always benevolent. And it's always helpful. So again, I'll oh, repeat gosh. what Wendy said. Thank you. You're an asset. And again, take care of yourself. You look good tonight. So keep that up. Yes. But thank you for those words. They, they really resonate very importantly for me. Thank you for what you do, sir. And, you know, this is, this is a time, a holiday season, that it's, it's, an, it's a season of extremes. As we know, just in normal circumstances, a lot of times people deal with with loss and and um, you know and heartache and and stuff. And it can be the highest of the highs, and it can be the lowest of the lows for people. And that's one of the things I wanted to bring on um, Dr. Mark onto the show because I wanted to have a conversation. How is it that we can? see the light in the midst of such a dark uh, and um, discouraging kind of situation during the holidays when everybody's celebrating and everybody's all about family, but we, uh, some of us are just with, um, we're, we don't have that. So Dr. Mark, why don't you share with us a little bit from your perspective? 
you know, um, gosh, you know, I, I, and I, I, I wrote that, uh, that uh, description down, the um, a season of extremes, Annika, because it absolutely is a season of extremes. And, uh, and holidays during the year, uh, based on either national uh, observances or our religious observances uh, and, 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 the, and the, uh, the pulse of the country's uh, sense of, uh, of, of observance, like on Labor Day or July 4th, uh, where there are picnics and more family-oriented activities uh, that may or may not be part of our own family's tradition, but still, you know, uh, flavor, you know, the, our environment. Uh, it, it is a season, and, 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 the, and, the, and the Christmas uh, season, the change of the year, uh, uh, Hanukkah, I mean, these are uh, among the, uh, the, the family holidays that we can immediately uh, recall as uh, children growing up, if we had favorable family experiences, and many of us have, and some of us have not, whether we were abused children, or whether we were uh, in foster care ourselves, or if we uh, were raised by a single parent that was or was not emotionally or physically present. We have, you know, we draw upon many sources of memory that will affect how we feel at any time during the year. But certainly they're magnified and they become much more apparent uh, on, on, on these holiday seasons. And so that season of extremes, uh, the, um, the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows, uh, someone recently said, <laughs> yeah, I think very, well, very well put. And um, I, I, I think for, for so many of us, uh, because we have been caught, either, either where we are uh, repelled by our own experience in child custody matters within the court system, or it's been much time after those decisions were made, they may not have been favorable. We may not be seeing our children. Our children may have may be alienated in the extreme. Uh, our our sense of of place during these holidays is certainly very different than when we uh, may have been married or in the relationship or had our children, uh, and certainly compared to our own our own our own child rearing uh, can be very different. And what happens at this end of the year is that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the tendency or the opportunities to be alone are nearly as great as those opportunities to be together. And when the court winds down, when corporations and businesses and employment seems to be more focused on, on holiday celebration with the ornaments in the environment and with the uh, <clears throat> much more cheerful attitudes, even in very stressful, uh, you know, workplace conditions, uh, there, there's a change within within when our with, uh, you know among our, our colleagues and coworkers. At the same time, we return home, possibly alone, or to people who in, or or, or in, uh, in in a, in a home setting that is not. Uh, you know, the most comfortable for us. We might be living with friends or relatives or have a roommate and a uh, very different uh, life experience. So how do we deal with all of the differences, all of the changes? And I, uh, and, and, and I think uh, one really important measure that I, uh, I speak of in my book and which I frequently mention, I, I think, and that is something that I also find difficult to do for myself, but something we need to be mindful of. And that is, you know, to acknowledge where we are. Acknowledge how we are feeling right now. What is it that is on our mind? What is it that we are, are sensing? What is it that we were feeling uh, um, emotionally as well as physically? But to recognize if this is really where we want to be, recognize what we would prefer. So if it's in the holiday period, and as these, as, as this, you know, karma is changing within our, our work environment or, or, or within the community, you know, you can, you can, you can go outside in the streets and, you know, 
if you're, you know, if you're up north and 65% of the uh, of the country has been under freezing and snow, you know, and uh, and I was in Wyoming three weeks ago, and I'll tell you, I had the first snowstorm, well, for this season, uh, but I, um, I, I got to tell you that we we need to pause. We need to reflect on, okay, uh, okay, acknowledge what are we feeling right now, and then recognize for ourselves what what we would prefer. Doesn't mean that we can achieve what it is that we want, whether it's to, to, to be with more people, to go out to eat, to get a coffee in a diner, which for me, by the way, it's one of my, my most simple and most valuable moments for me. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I really enjoy being in a diner, listening to people and, uh, and having a cup of coffee in a nice white ceramic mug. I love that, you know, huh. but it, it's grounding. It's grounding. I I love that. You know, um, one of the things that I do is I love the nostalgia of the Christmas music. I, I play it constantly, like ad nauseum, like that much, like constantly Christmas music and watch old Christmas movies. Um, but it could, could, because it takes me into my happy place. And, you know, if there's something disempowering in my life, like, you know, uh, a strained relationship with with a child or whatever or no relationship at least I can I don't have to resist the holidays I can actually embrace them my way um, awesome. Danica if I could awesome you guys have pinpointed something very important which we've talked about is the, well, the one thing I say about to, to a lot of people that ask my advice around this time of the year is I say don't get trapped in your own head and Dr. Mark kind of alluded to that in terms of, uh, so again, these things come together organically. Dr. Mark loves that. Um, but you spoke about doing things that bring you joy. So when I say don't get trapped in your own head, don't keep going back and repeating the things, beating yourself up with the things that don't bring you that joy. It doesn't do any good. It's, again, we go back to unburden, not to repeat and relive that trauma and keep re-traumatizing ourselves. So that being said, Danica does something that she that brings her joy in her heart. Dr. Mark does those things, and that's what I encourage people to do. If you have these things that are repeating these old traditions and heartbreaks, you know what I suggest? Make new traditions. That's you what I did. I said, okay. You're absolutely right. Marsha Pruitt said that 20 years ago, and uh, although she was very cavalier in her writing, I, I, I thought, uh, because you don't want your children who are not in your life to forget what their experience was like with you. But, but you, are, right. you are absolutely right. And that's a very important coping mechanism to create new traditions. And one of the things that, uh, if, if, if I may. Uh, please, please. Okay, thanks. Well, what I have enjoyed for, you know, whether they're, uh, they're, they're my religious holidays or the national holidays, uh, I've, I, I, I've, I've always had friends. I always valued friends. And, I, and, and, and many of my clients, you know, 25 years ago, I, I, I was a financial advisor. I, you know, a completely different field. I was involved in, uh, you know, in, in insurance and estate planning and all this kind of stuff, and which I, I, I really love, by the way. But, um, uh, but I, I built relationships with, with people. And, uh, and, um, and, and I didn't care if I sold product uh, or service. I didn't give a damn about it. What I cared about was being received was being appreciated, which I did not feel in my marriage. Uh, so I, I felt, but, 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 but I, I love, I, and I really appreciate people. And I think that if, uh, if we can find, like you said, you know, uh, but, you know, stop ruminating in your head. And, and, uh, and so I would invite people over for dinner. I, I love to cook. Uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I really, and I'm not a great cook, but I love, I got to tell you guys, you know, and, I, and, and, and this has nothing to do with my, uh, uh, you know, my, uh, my masculinity, but my favorite room in the house is the kitchen. I love the kitchen. It's creative and it's, uh, and, 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 and I give myself permission to really enjoy, experiment, and uh, but also nurture and i think if we find uh those activities those places that foster those feelings of of, of danica the theme today is, is about finding joy 
if you, you, you need to find that space, whatever that might be for you, and they could be many, many different spaces, but if you find those spaces, then you will find the way for feeling more comfortable and finding the, the avenue, that activity, no matter how um, menial it might be, even a, a mug of coffee, right? That's a way to start. But f when you begin feeling good and your mind is beginning to go with this flow of, of, of good feelings and good tidings and, 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 and goodness, you will allow yourself, you, you can't help but allow yourself to go forward with this momentum. And, right. uh, you know, and, and, I, and I just feel if we can give ourselves, like, like but, you know, I, I, I think you're saying, you know, give yourself permission to feel good, to feel right. Good peace and, yeah. and you know and right and I, and I think if I could Dr. Mark you made a yeah. really really awesome point in the beginning of the show where you said acknowledge and really look within yourself a, a, to where this these emotions are coming from I think that and Danica will agree to that's really important because when you get to the core if you can really dig up what's reality um, and again it's not minimizing people's feelings but when you can kind of go that deep and figure out the root of these things, that's how you can kind of quote unquote defeat them. Yes. How you can find that peace. And again, as you said, it doesn't mean uh, disregarding any of your old traditions. You go with what, what brings you peace, but don't, you know, it's all about that center. And as you said, everything around us reminds us, even the cold temperatures, sometimes that floods memories back. Uh, everything, all the snow, everything, but you've got it for yourself find that joy and sometimes it's a very literal thing like you said dr mark you've got to put yourself in that space and it kind of will start to snowball just like negativity will yes so it's important yes. that you go there yes yes you know when i was uh uh when i for and and, and in the last couple of years i i seem to be reflecting more upon my own personal experience i want people to understand that i'm not you know, I might be preaching to a choir, but I'm part of the choir, you know, and that, and, and that whatever I'm sharing is really based also not on my professional uh, and my, my and, and, and academic experiences and, and understanding, but it's, it's also my own, my own experience, uh, personal. And, uh, but I found that uh, when I, uh, when I uh, divorced, uh, it was uh, in the, uh, in the summertime, but I had already been separated a year. Well, what did I do? I uh, uh, a lot a lot of times uh, there are people who will reconnect. If they, they may reconnect with old friends or high school sweethearts, or or they may make time for those things that uh, those those activities uh, that they had deprived themselves. Maybe because they didn't have you know the time or uh, or, or the access or the finances. Uh, because of family responsibilities, etc. But you know what? If you if, if you reconnect with something that you had always enjoyed, and find a means of expressing that. So what I did was I saw that there was a uh, a stand up comedy writing workshop in New Haven, and uh, I and, and it was a one day workshop. There were about twelve of us, and uh, and what uh, what we did was to perform the the that evening following the workshop and this was near Yale University very popular uh, coffee house and uh, and we performed there and there are about four or five of us who continued performing for three years all around the tri-state area we opened for uh, uh, major comics and we supported each other and being able to express but you know I, I always enjoyed coming I always enjoyed fooling around always enjoyed making people laugh or trying to and 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 uh, I was uh, uh, I was more controlled in my marriage as to you know my behaviors and what I what I like. Sadly, and and many people are you know we you know we have to bounce off and in interact with you know with someone else in the home or in our relationship. But but that opened up and another world for me and said you know what Mark you are in touch with yourself. You know uh, by by being able to and and if someone enjoyed. You know, being in community theater, or or finding uh find that, or writing poetry, which which I did and, and and present. You know, but 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 reconnecting with your, you know, with your creative juices and and and, and those things that you whether it's making a model, right, 
building a, a model car or, or, or learning how to fly, you know, drones or whatever. It, you know, do something that is maybe different for yourself. Uh, Doc so, Doctor, if I uh, go ahead, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to walk on you. I do that all the time. Ask Dan. No, good, good. <laughs> what what I want to uh, let people know too uh, that are in the moment, because I've been there too. When you're in the moment, sometimes I've had my head in my hands, Dr. Mark and Danica, at points in my life, literally crying, saying, How did this happen? This is the worst day of my life. And I say this with every ounce of sincerity. When I look back, I almost have those same tears. Thankful, because when you look back and you realize, in the moment, it's hard to see. But the way life is now, if all those things hadn't happened, I would have never met my best friend, my wife, Allison. I wouldn't have my two boys. I wouldn't be on here with you. I wouldn't have lived my dream. Literally, I was in that same pattern, that same kind of, you know, dulling who I am. You know, and Danica and I have talked about not marginalizing yourself for other people. And yes. if, if that no, horrible thing... Way. If that horrible thing, so folks that are in the moment, cry with joy because your breakthrough is coming. And in that pain, greatness comes from pain. So I legitimately, honestly, would hug my ex um, and thank her because she did something I never would have done. And in the moment, it was horrible. Like a lot of people out there, oh, my God, I'm telling you, hang on. Because in a year or two, you could be thanking the universe for doing that and pushing you into your dreams, which I'm living yes. right now. Again. Real quickly, uh, Jim Carrey said a while back in something I was watching the actor, you, you can't find true peace until you let the armor go. You know, and that's, that's a fact, and that's what we're doing uh, now. Yes. Uh, you know, so again, awesome yeah. stuff. It all blends yeah. together. Thanks to both of you. Oh, gosh. It's a, you know, what I'm hearing is, is gratitude is the, really the access. Having gratitude, and it is so easy to... to dwell on the pain and the hurt that someone has caused you and and just and live it like it, it the the brain is designed that it knows no difference from memories and reality or even imagination and reality so you can go to a movie and you can be brought to tears but you know in your head that it isn't real it's just a movie but your but your brain chemistry and everything still reacts as if it's real so it's, I say that to say that the only way for me to shift out of the past of dealing with the bitterness and the resentment and all of the pain that, that was brought on to me is, to, is through gratitude and say, you know, like you said, I am touching the lives of thousands of people maybe even, maybe way more than that, hundreds of thousands of people um, who need what we have to offer and I would have it wouldn't have even been on the radar if we each hadn't been through what we have gone through that's true and, and what do we say great. Danica it's so perfect what do we always say we're on our perfect path we're right where we're supposed to be and I and always go with that you know Danica and I are always excited Dr. Mark and I, I know you are too is because every day we're so open to learning we realize at this point that every year we you, you know we look back and we say wow I can't believe last year I didn't and, and but now we have the, the foresight to say well I'm probably going to be that way next year so I'm open to learning it and, and when you really do that with true benevolence and intention we've talked about that with true intention all of the great things open up when you're doing it from the right place and that's the exciting part of it when you wake up and you say even in pain when you realize and you have the foresight again to say through this pain will come pleasure I can't wait to see what I'm going to earn for going through this and not going through it right Danica experiencing it so we keep that positive mm -hmm. spot up spot up spin going. Thank you again. Okay, so I'm looking at the clock and this conversation has gone too quickly and it's too short. Um and we have to go. So Dr. Mm -hmm. Mark, I thank you so much for agreeing to be on the show. You're such a, a blessing to us, and um, I'm just so glad to have to to have met you many years ago, and uh, and I definitely would like to have you on again. Well, I, I I welcome that, and as you know, I'm so proud of you and all that you have opened up for me uh, as I you know, <clears throat> came to Florida with my dream, mm -hmm. and uh, and now we're uh, we're expanding uh, out of state and. Uh, 
uh, other other plans and ruling. But uh, but I want to thank you both so much for uh, for this very important conversation. Awesome, thank you. All right, Bud. Dr. Mark, thank you so much. As I said off the air, I believe I can't wait to see you down at Florida and give me a big hug. Oh, I like that hug. so much. One of those I mean it hugs. I can't <laughs> wait. December 11, 2019, going on our eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you to everybody. Danica, Joan, as always, I love you. Wendy F. and Perry, as we call her affectionately off the air, my wife, Alice, and everybody out there. Chins up. It's not over, over to you today. It's over again, Dr. Mark. Thank you. Everybody out there, keep pushing, keep fighting. We love you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.